the angles of elevation of the top of a tower from the top and bottom T of a building of height A are 30 and 45 degrees. So, this is a building top B, bottom D. There is a tower here. This angle is 45. This angle is 30. It is given to be height A. They are the same level. We want to find this height H. The height of the tower is what we need to find. Always simple rule of them. Attack the 45 degree angle first. This is H. This is BD. Top of the tower A. Let's say bottom of the tower is C. This point is E. A, C, D. It's a 45 degree angle. Isosceles right angle triangle. That is H. This is H. <coughs> if DC is H, B is H. This is H. We can find A, E. A is H by root 3. How so? Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. A, E by H is 1 by root 3. Tan 30 is A, E by H. 1 by root 3 is A, E by H. A, E is H by root 3. Or if there is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the ratio of the two perpendicular sides is 1 is to root 3. It should be 1 is to root 3. Opposite the 30 degree angle should be the shorter side. This is 1, this is root 3. We know this. Divide by root 3, get that. That is h by root 3. Or C is h minus h by root 3. A is equal to h minus h by root 3. Simplify that. We got A in terms of h. We need to get h in terms of a. Not difficult. Multiply by root 3. Root 3 a equals root 3 h minus 1 minus h or h equals root 3 a by root 3 minus 1. We can multiply and divide by root 3 plus 1 and rationalize the denominator all of that or the answer choice gives this. This is what we are looking for. Take time drawing the diagram. Attack the 45 degree angle first, the isosceles right angle triangle, then go to the 30, 60, 90 triangle. It's usually going to be dealing with tan. When you're dealing with tan in the 30, 60, 90 triangle, the perpendicular sides, they're going to be in the ratio of 1 is to root 3. 1 is to root 3, root 3 is to 1. Opposite the 60 degree angle is root 3, opposite the 30 degree angle is 1. So, we come back to this diagram. This is h, this is h by root 3. This h minus h by root 3, which is a. A equals h minus h by root 3. You have to, you've got A in terms of h. Manipulated, we can get h in terms of A. Okay, done.